Hello everyone, today I'm going to share a little tip with you on how I boosted my FPS by 25%, which it's quite significant. I went from playing a barely playable game in some scenarios to an actually enjoyable experience. So a few days ago I got Train Simulator for the first time and it's the first train simulator of any kind that I've uh, played uh, except railroads online this is like the first proper train simulator right so I didn't know that since this game is from 2009 it's actually pretty terribly set up for modern PCs like it uses only one or two threads of a CPU even though you have more cores so it, it runs pretty bad, but there is something you can do to like help the performance anyway. So uh, what somebody pointed out to me on uh, Reddit is that there's this thing called DXVK. Now, I don't know exactly how it works, but I'll leave a link to uh, a forum thread in the description if you want to read them like what it is and how it works. But the important thing is that it does work, for me at least, I can't guarantee the same for you, but what you do is you go to the GitHub link in the description and you download the latest version. So using 7-zip you open the file or open the archive and click on the x64 version or if you use or if you run train simulator in the 32-bit you We'll probably use that. I, I don't know. I use x64. I, I would recommend you use x64. I think that's what most people use for train simulator. I think that's what works the best. So you double click on the x64 and then what you want to do is you want to copy the d3d9.dll file. You want to copy that to uh, the root or route folder or whatever it's called. Uh, of your train simulator so it's the place or the file folder that has the uh, railworks.exe in it so that's your that's where you want to copy it to you also want to copy dxgi.dll and you want to copy it to the same route or root folder and that's it pretty much that's uh, dxvk installed so I don't know who, exactly what it is I don't know exactly what it does but it has something to do with the direct 9 version something something and it makes the game run a lot better in my case like I, I'm seeing 25% FPS increase pretty much across the board in like all the scenarios are tested and all the places are tested. I'd also like to point out that the footage you're seeing in the background is from my stream the other day. And on this particular route I was getting like 13 FPS in the beginning. And I was getting at max like 30 FPS in the more like less dense areas but the station areas and whatnot, I was getting about 13 to 15, and now in the same areas, I'm getting at least like 20 to 25. I'm, I'm also seeing like 40 FPS in the more like less dense areas. That doesn't sound so great, but like that's a huge difference in percentage and you can really notice that the game is running smoother, it's running more consistent, and it's actually playable. Like, you don't need that much FPS for Train Simulator Classic, but when it gets below 20, that's when you it really is noticeable. Ideally, you want to keep it like at the, at least 30, in my experience. But yeah, I've also found that. Uh, the anti-aliasing on Train Simulator has a huge impact on performance. So using uh, uh, MSAA, I think it's called, instead of the SSA, uh, you'll see a pretty decent increase. I'll leave a link in the description to 
uh, video that uh, compares the two of those. So, thanks for watching. If you have any tips or tricks or experience about how to increase your FPS in Train Simulator Classic, then please share them in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.